government employees drinking and driving on the job. New tonight, the News 4 I-Team has the video to prove it. But as Tisha Thompson reports now, these aren't just any government employees because beer is their business. distinctive blue trucks, it's hard to miss the men who deliver the beer in Montgomery County. Every beer you drink in the county comes from this government-controlled warehouse. For weeks, the News 4i team followed the county's beer trucks as part of a different story. But then, we discovered something even we didn't expect. All right, 81, here we go. We couldn't help but notice how the guys in truck 81 take a lot of breaks to eat, sleep, even go inside a private home while their truck sits unattended on the side of the road. And then we spotted the styrofoam cups. They bought them almost every day we watched them. Why should you care about a couple of cups? Because after an early morning delivery to a county-owned liquor store, we saw the helper walk out with a long bottle in a brown bag. Later that morning, during another delivery, our cameras caught him pouring the contents of that bottle into his cup and stirring. A few minutes later, the driver does the same thing before getting back on the road. Days later, same truck, same driver, but a different helper who throws away this white plastic bag into a dumpster at the end of their route and before they drive back to the warehouse. We pulled the bag out of the dumpster and found two empty wine bottles. And on yet another day, we watched them walk out of a privately owned store with four bottles in a small box. When we went inside, we found the same box full of white wine. Hi there. I'm Tisha Thompson with the News 4i team. I wanted to talk to you for a second. I wanted to know why the two of you have been drinking while you're in a government vehicle. Uh, he's been drinking, not me. He's been drinking, not you? He says you've been drinking in a government vehicle and not him? He's been drinking. You have? No. We've got video of the two of you pouring alcohol into styrofoam cups. No, you, We've you didn't got, get me. I'm sorry, say again? You didn't get me. We've, you want to see the video? I've got a video of you taking a bottle of alcohol and then pouring it into a styrofoam cup. Me? Yeah, we've been following. Video. You want to see it? I've got it right here. Yeah. Come yeah. on over here. But instead of watching the video, the two video? men went inside, only to come out for a few seconds to grab that wine? styrofoam cup. Do you got empty bottles in there? We never saw the cup again. Can I show you the video? Can I show you what we've seen over the last couple of weeks? Instead, they packed up. So you don't have anything to say? And no drove comment. away. And their job is to uh, deliver it, not consume it. George Griffin is the director of Montgomery County oh, Liquor Control. It appears uh, from this that uh, two of our two county employees are consuming alcohol while they're operating a county vehicle, which is obviously against all the administrative procedures in the county. I mean, that's a slam dunk. Griffin says he immediately pulled both men off the street and put them on administrative leave pending an investigation. He says while he cannot comment specifically on personnel actions against specific employees, he did tell us that drinking on the job is, quote, widely seen as grounds for dismissal without fail. Tisha Thompson, News 4i team. Accusations of theft and intimidation are brewing inside a local agency it involves beer. County officials are already making changes because of what the News 4 I team found out. Tisha Thompson joins us with results of her six month investigation. Tisha? Doreen, Montgomery County is one of the few jurisdictions in our area that controls the buying and selling of alcohol, and it makes big money, generating $34 million in profit. That's more than any other county agency. But tonight, after we showed the county what we uncovered, Changes are already underway in this beer business. If you bought a drink, sold a drink, or even downed a drink in Montgomery County, it likely had to go through this building first, the Department of Liquor Control. The agency is the wholesaler for all alcoholic beverages in the county, taking orders and making deliveries to almost 1,000 restaurants, bars, and stores. But multiple sources tell the News 4i team some county employees are skimming cases of beer and selling them on the black market. If I uh, say no, 
I was uh, worried that uh, he might uh, hurt me too. This store owner says he's scared to show his face after a county delivery man tried to illegally sell him beer under the table by telling him. I got 10 extra uh, case uh, beer and you want to buy some uh, cheap price. He says the delivery man wanted cash for those extra cases on his truck. My answer was no, no, no. Another store owner tells us delivery guys offered him extra cases too in exchange for cigarettes. It's been going on for years. The News 4i team also heard from several insiders with liquor control. The people that are immigrants are very vulnerable. I believe there's an intimidation. Maybe they should say no, but maybe they feel intimidated and they feel like they should go along with it. Tell us the theft goes down in one of two ways. Instead of delivering the complete order, they actually keep a couple of boxes on the truck and tell the store owner they were short. But these boxes, they're going to get delivered to another store further down the road for half price in cash. Or this time, the store owner is in on it, paying the delivery crew cash for some of the cases. In either scenario, the delivery crew is filling out one of these county credit forms, claiming the cases were short on truck. This could be a way that they could be hiding theft. Well, that's always the fear when you say that it, they, they say it wasn't on the truck and it was. George Griffin is the director of liquor control. He says incomplete deliveries or shorts are an unavoidable part of the business and regular counts or audits should flag any missing inventory. We should be able to account for virtually every case that's in the system one way or another. But our insiders tell us the county delivers so many cases and makes so much money it's easy to hide the thefts. Because even though the county says it knows how much money it credited back to stores, no one is keeping track of why, meaning no one is checking those individual pieces of paper to see which delivery crews or which stores had the most shorts. Except the News 4i team. We spent nearly two weeks going page by page through six months worth of credit forms. We found two-thirds of businesses were shorted, some more than once a week. Most of those stores get their beer from the same three delivery crews, who we found had as many as three times the number of shorts compared to other trucks. There's no way that continuously the same trucks should have the problems all the time without something happening to them. It is um, uh, surprising to see that uh, some of the patterns. And you think there may right. be a problem? It sounds like. Oh, well, sure. But Griffin says any potential thefts are small compared to the volume of beer sales in the county, almost 5 million cases a year. You never make so much money that you're not worried about problems. Griffin tells the I team he made changes as soon as we showed him what we found. All shorts now must be immediately called into a supervisor on the route, and the county will be watching specific delivery crews for red flags. Is this acceptable, what we have found, or is this cause for concern and you're going to have to go no, do something? No, absolutely cause for concern. I mean, I, I'm glad you brought it out. We're told the county is investigating at least three delivery men as a result of our investigation. Another driver has quit. The county says it's also going to move to a new electronic scanning system next year, which it hopes will alleviate potential theft. New reaction to a News 4 I-Team investigation that uncovered problems inside the Department of Liquor Control in Montgomery County. Tonight, a council member says the county should get out of the booze business after what he saw in our report. Tisha Thompson shows us why he's now calling for both a government and a criminal investigation. Shocked. Uh outraged. Montgomery County Council member Hans Reimer says he thinks what he saw county workers doing in our undercover investigation was criminal. The Department of Liquor Control controls all alcohol sales in the county, pulling in about $34 million a year. But multiple sources told the I-Team some county employees have been skimming the beer they're supposed to be delivering and selling it illegally under the table for cash. Our investigation uncovered troubling trends pointing to certain delivery truck drivers and stores. We need a criminal investigation of these employees. You know, we need the attorney general to get involved. We need to figure out what's happening there in the first place. Reamer says he was especially alarmed by what our cameras caught. Delivery crews on at least three different days pouring what appears to be alcohol into styrofoam cups and then driving government vehicles. I wanted to know why the two of you have been drinking while you're in a government vehicle. Uh, he's been drinking, not me. He's been drinking, not you? 
He says you've been drinking in a government vehicle and not him. He's been drinking. You have? No. The head of liquor control immediately pulled both men off the road after we showed him the video and said he's investigating other drivers as well. But Reamer says that's not enough. We need changes, you know. We need to have the department, minimally in the short term, able to bring some real consequences. Um, but fundamentally, what do you have to do? You have to get out of the liquor wholesale business. Reamer says he's already reached out to the county's inspector general to investigate what we found. And the county says it's already started making changes at the Department of Liquor Control. To see that complete list, go to our website. And while you're there, check out this special interactive we've made. Multiple sources told us that the thefts have been going on for years because they use a complicated scheme to hide it. We break it all down in detail on our website. While you're there, go to NBCWashington.com and click on the investigations link to see the complete series. Tisha Thompson, News 4i Team.